Welcome to episode 110 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. Today, I am all fired up because everyone is freaking out. We're making our way through the fog of life and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. Okay, without a doubt, since I recorded the last episode a week ago, everyone's freaking out. And I'm telling you that everyone should stop. I'm not saying everyone can't feel uncertainty. I'm not saying that anyone uh, doesn't deserve to feel a little panicked, a little afraid for your health. Um, this is natural. This is human. Um, I'm live streaming right now with the, my LinkedIn community, uh, my professional colleagues to you. I'll say everyone's freaking out. Everything is different. Everything is weird. And as a community, as a community, we all need to just take a breath. I don't know about you, but over this past week, I've had just an unbelievable roller coaster of emotions. As I'm, that's why I'm standing up. If you're not watching and you're just listening to the podcast, I'm actually standing up in front of my desk because I can't sit. Um, this message is too important and I'm too fired up to sit down. Over the last week, I've had so many situations that were like a roller coaster of emotion. I don't know about you, but I found that I can't even get two coherent thoughts to connect with one another because I, I'm the kind of person that likes to absorb information. I can absorb from all different areas. And a lot of times people don't realize that I'm paying attention. I'm absorbing. And when I absorb a lot, then I can actually synthesize some thinking and come up with some coherent thinking and lines of thought. But that does kind of require a moment to actually synthesize it and put it together and now, there is information coming in by the minute, by the second, the phrase, did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear this? Did you hear that? Did you hear the governor? Did you hear um, the virus? Did you hear this business? Did you hear the stock market? Did you hear um, fill in the blank? There are so many did you hears that I have a hard time thinking. I know a lot of people are working from home right now. A lot of people on LinkedIn have been working from home, working remote. Most of my company is working remote. We're not a remote work co company, although we're doing it well. I can't think in a linear thought. My mind is overclocking. And frankly, I'm just sick of it already. I'm sick of it because everybody's freaking out. Last week, we're buying all the toilet paper. I bought some toilet paper last night. True confessions. Um, I, I did, I saw a pile of toilet paper. I didn't need it, but I still bought it. Uh, don't judge me. It's okay. You can judge me if you want. I can't put two thoughts together. I said to my wife today, I feel like we haven't had like a coherent, like connection in a week, because even though I see her every night and every, well, not every morning, but on the weekends and every night when I come home, there's so much going on and my brain's overclocking and I know your brain's overclocking. And we're not connecting. We're not connecting as people because talking about your fear and pandering fear isn't connecting. Businesses are closing. They're closing their doors a lot of times out of fear and uncertainty instead of out of logic. I've watched businesses close their doors out of fear and uncertainty and not out of logic. And there is this wake, I mean, a wake of human lives in the flow. I'm not even talking about the virus yet. Let's talk about the virus. It's a sickness. Some people are going to get sick. Maybe a lot of people are going to get sick. The vast, 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 vast majority of those people are going to be just fine. Actually, a large amount of those people are going to be asymptomatic, meaning no symptoms or mild symptoms. The same symptoms that you've just gone through the entire winter having. Cough little fever, headache, and then it's gone. And then you're done. Now I understand that there are high risk people, which definitely cause for alarm, definitely cause for extra caution. But I'm talking to the 95, 96, 97% of people out there 
who are not in that category, who are not going to face that. Yet it's easy to adopt that fear and hold it close and make it our own and make, make us afraid to live life. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't honor social distancing. I'm not saying that you shouldn't honor those things, but you don't need to be afraid to live life. Stop. You don't have to. You just don't have to. There's connection. There's opportunity in this tragedy, in this tough time. That's where the real opportunity is to connect like we've never connected before. And now we move from the virus, which will run its course, and we will see the other side of this curve, however steep it is. And I promise you, mark my words, live streaming it, publishing it, the very, very second the cases start to decline instead of incline, the very second, everyone's going to feel differently. And that day is coming. And it's coming much sooner than you think. And when it does come, we're going to think back to this and be like, wow, I was really freaking out. Or maybe we'll even minimize how freaked out we were. I wasn't that afraid. I really wasn't that afraid. Let's talk about the economy. I don't have the fix for all the closings, all the shutdowns. It's not like we can just hit simultaneous pause button, wait for this thing to go through and then hit the simultaneous play button. Because if we could do that, everything would be fine. But that doesn't work that way. But even still, if I believe in anything, I believe that the American economy has always, every single time, come back. Every time. And every single time that I've experienced fear and panic in the marketplace, it has been people saying, this is an unprecedented situation. We've never seen anything like this before. Right. And that makes a really good soundbite. It's really great to talk about that as um, as a talking head. It's really great to write these headlines. I'm reading ridiculous headlines like you should stay in your house for 18 months. And at the bottom, you realize like, oh, that's an opinion piece. And so all this rhetoric is coming out and people, business owners, business leaders who believe in the American economy, who have lived through 2001 and 2008 and 9-11 and hurricanes and economic crashes, oil embargoes, fires, floods, wars, live through all of this stuff. And every single time you heard, now this is an unprecedented situation for the American economy. You've heard that every single time. And I'm, I'm talking to the people now who are 40, 50, 60, 70. I'm looking at you, LinkedIn. I am. We're going to take it as it comes, take the bull by the horns, bind together, make a difference, be a change in our communities, LinkedIn, in our communities, podcast, in our communities, our businesses, in our communities, our families, in our communities, our schools and our churches. We're going to choose to be that difference. I hope you choose that with me. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Thank you for watching the live stream. Hit me up. DM me. If you're connected on LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever, I'm running flat out right now, flat out to preach this message, to demonstrate and exhibit this message, to put my money where my mouth is with my business, with my agency, with my life, with my family, the way we care, the way we love, the way we work, the way we grow, the way we resolve to move forward through this COVID-19. It ain't got nothing on us. I'll see you next week. Yeah.